Let me explain our student debt forgiveness program to all of you. You, the good people who are having your loans forgiven, you people who paid your loans or never got them in the first place, and then you people who never even went to college. We're forgiving up to 20 grand of your student loan debt. Yeah, because we're awesome. Do not forget about us in November. Okay, I know you're mad. You struggled, you worked hard, you missed a lot of opportunities to get ahead in your professional career, all to pay down your debt responsibly, which proves that you can do it again for them. Remember, this is targeted relief for working class people, like a married couple making 240 grand a year. You don't want them to suffer, do you? Um... Let me get back to you later. Are you willing to donate just seven dollars to help us win in November? We gotta keep making progress. Who knows? Maybe cancel more debt down the road, huh? <laughs> Wink. No, we can't stop subsidizing student loans. Harvard's endowment is only fifty billion dollars. You don't want Harvard to suffer, do you? Look, this really isn't about you, okay? So just chip in, do your part, but stay out of the way. Hey, can you believe they canceled Samantha B? Like. What? What ratings problem? Everyone I know watches that show. The important thing is that we mitigate the damage that we cause without ever addressing the root cause of the problem. You don't want Congress to suffer, do you? Just put the money in the bucket and leave. No one wants to hear from you. You just want people to suffer. That's all we have to say. Never engage with any substantive argument or numbers or math of any kind. It's only gonna cost about 300 billion or so. The first year, we think. With inflation, that's gonna feel like a lot less. If you guys were smart, you would've taken a loan you couldn't afford to go to college, but you didn't. So pony up, it's about two grand per taxpayer. Put it in the bucket and leave. Do you guys wanna get smoothies or something later? We need more people in debt so they'll vote us into office to get them out of debt. I thought you people went to college. Oh please, you couldn't even spell moral hazard. Cool, awesome. All right, November. Of course it's constitutional because of 9-11, obviously. Idiot. Oh, I didn't see you there. You know, you kids are the future. That's why we're doing our best to make sure none of your actions will ever have real consequences. Except maybe voting. <laughs> well, you know, we're working on that too. 